Good morning, Modern Statters. This morning, we're going to work on getting this side of the off-grid outdoor kitchen sided. The first place we're going to start is we need to rip two strips at three and a half inches wide. One of them is going to be a filler strip to go from here to the top, and the other one is going to be a full length, our first piece of siding. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Good morning, pigs. How you doing? So we want a piece that's, that can go from here to here. We going to fill it all the way to the top. And then our first piece of trim will be the same width and go all the way down. And then we can start siding from here over and we'll use the cutoff piece to fill in the top. It's a nice foggy morning this morning. It's only 44 degrees. It's crazy. It feels like fall. We're still in August. We've just had some weird weather this summer so far. It's been cold and wet. No wonder why the gardens have been producing a huge abundance. But we're doing really well up here with our pasture raised livestock. We might as well cut our boards to length because there's no need of ripping a full length piece in the table saw if we don't need to. We got a nice busy day planned for the day, but luckily we got a nice early start on getting the siding done, so we'll be able to work on siding for, I don't know, three or four hours. Then we'll head off, we're gonna go help some people. They've helped us here on the off-grid outdoor kitchen build, so now it's time to repay the favor. Make sure our fence is set for three and a half inches. First piece, here we go. Make sure we get the same three and five eighths. We start everything the same. First piece of siding's up. It's going to be a little slow going getting around this window. The rough sawn lumber that we're using is all different woods. So the same board that I'm cutting the bottom piece out of, I want to cut the top piece out of. And I want to make sure they stay together. is going to be a little bit slower than the rest of it, but I don't think it's going to take that long. Hear in the comments now, you're wasting so many meals. Sun's coming out, we're gonna start getting some glare. Doing two pieces at a time so that way we don't get our short lengths mixed up.
getting there. It's looking pretty neat. Scary part is working around all this glass. You want to make sure you, you don't drop any of your tools. If I did, it wouldn't be good. These rough boards, these wide boards, are nice, but they're a bit of a pain to cut. Got a nice little filler strip to get us to the other side of the window. Now these wide boards are nice, but it adds an extra step when you're cutting them. You gotta flip them back and forth so you can cut through both sides. Just, just slows you down a little bit. All right, now that we got a bunch of boards cut to length, let's get them put up as siding. Boards are bowing a little bit again, so we're just using our ratchet strap trick where we can. Trying to get it the best we can. gap all the way around. Let's put in another nice wide board to keep a little pattern going with narrow and wide boards. We want to have them all bunched together. darn close to having all the siding up. Okay. So 
So I just got done cutting some more boards and I literally just used my last board out of the pickup truck. And I'm thinking we're going to be within a quarter of an inch either short or long. I'm pretty impressed. I just grabbed a bunch of rough sawn lumber, threw it in the truck and let's see what happens. How close we can get to having the right amount with us. Let's see how close they get us. And this board is, I'll show you, this board is, there's the back of the truck. It's empty. So I'm going to rip that board down to five and five eighths of an inch wide. Now all that was is pure luck. <laughs> Nothing else. there and do that. Get it marked. All right, let's give it another try. Now we got it all notched out. Oh, perfect. I like it. Yep. That's what the wall looks like. Up by the soffit, ah, finished off nicely. Let's go inside and see how it looks. Getting excited. That looks nice. I like it. Side yet, have you? Oh, there's a great window box where you can throw stuff on it. Oh, yeah, that'd be cute. I bet you I can hear the subscribers now. Yeah, I do window boxes. I have a big window box. That would be an eight foot long window box. Grow a lot of herbs in here. What do you think, Louise? You like it? That's pretty cool, huh? One step at a time. One, that's right. That's next year's project. Next year's project. Growing season's almost over with here in northern New Hampshire. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps the channel grow. I want to thank you for that. We're getting pretty close to 10,000 subscribers. That's awesome. And we just reached a little over 1 million video views. That's huge. So thank you, Modern Stedders, for that. I don't know, but I'm liking the looks of the off-grid outdoor kitchen. That side looks pretty wild. I like all the random patterns and the random size and I was seeing comments the other day about how come we can't make that glass window slide with a broken pane. The pane of that, the pane of the window glass made that whole frame a lot sturdier and having one pane broken, you could feel it, it wasn't as rigid, so we didn't want to continue hanging it and have it break or anything, so we figured we're better off putting it up and just making it a fixed panel. And that way we don't have to worry about the other glass breaking on us. Tomorrow we'll be working on the siding the other side. It's going to be nice to see that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.